stay here, okay? Don't move. Oh, wow, I'm really bored. Hey! Hey, hey, you, hey. Hey, so I just wanted to be clear about what happened the other night, the reason that I let you kiss me. Uh, you kissed me? Yeah. No, I can see how that'd be confusing, but um, I just wanted to let you know that that was just me going through some stuff. Cool. Um, hey, so why do they give you table scraps? Are you like a poor person or? Um, no, but thanks for asking. No, I use the compost. You know, that way nothing gets thrown out. Composting? Yeah, no, I, I know composting. Um, Gwyneth Paltrow does a compost gift exchange. I'm gonna go. Okay, great. Um, I'm glad that we could clear this up. So, what's your deal? You're pretty. What's that like? Um, it's good. Yeah, lots of doors open up for pretty people. Mm-hmm, clearly, as I register for community service. <laughs> So what'd you do? Um, I drove into the Prada store on Rodeo Drive. In fairness, it did look a lot like um, the entrance to a parking garage. Uh-huh. And I was high at the time. Are you high right now? No, I'm not. <laughs> well, you might want to be, because uh, this is an exactly thrilling work, and you won't be getting any chit-chat from your buddy. <sighs> what buddy? You're not the only druggie in town, huh? Ronnie? Mm. Here's a garbage stick. You use it to pick up garbage. And here. Oh, no. I'm fine. Thank you. That's very sweet. This isn't say yes to the dress, princess. Orange is the new orange. Okay. So you got busted for selling drugs? Like, hard drugs? Like, did you have to wear a hazmat suit and work in a trailer? Huh? No, it's just weed, mushrooms, uppers, most of the truckers, my high school teachers. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty clean around here, which is shocking considering the state of our motel room. Speaking of unfit homes, why do you live in a barn? What's wrong with living in a barn? Mm, nothing if you're a goat. <laughs> well, it serves its purpose. It seems to, with the ladies. That's just a joke. I'm sorry for um, walking in on you and Twyla the other day. No, it's cool. So how long have you two been So together? listen, I gotta take off for a bit. I got this thing I gotta do. Can you cover for me? Um, I mean, cool. yeah. Cool. Thanks. But... Sorry. Excuse me? What am I supposed to keep doing here? Ew, 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 ew. You have to open your eyes to get a little Ugh. bit. Ugh. So, can I ask you a question? Why do you always get dressed up to do this? I mean, it doesn't seem very practical. Naomi Campbell wore Dolce Gabbana Couture to her community service. And just because she was picking up roadkill did not mean that she needed to look like it. And I just always really admired her courage. Um, I didn't understand a word you just said. Besides, it's nice to uh, change your clothes every once in a while. Something you might want to consider doing at some point. Change my clothes. It's just all the same. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Well, at least now they'll get washed. <laughs> Come on, run! <laughs> <laughs> it's actually nice in here. Well, I'm not Valentino, but you know. Okay, well, don't try and be funny about it. <laughs> just happens naturally. It's just that, um, when a guy can pack his whole wardrobe into an overnight bag, you just don't really think that he'd be much of an interior designer. Don't worry, they're fresh, they're clean. Hmm. Ooh, I smell that rock beaten freshness. What? It's just I do beat my laundry against rocks. Air freak. <sighs> oh, 
Ooh. Okay, I don't think I can do There's this. There's a lot of people here. Hey, you guys made it! Amazing! It's a pairs class, so partner up. Okay, well, I'm not touching you. Well, I'm not touching you. David, hon! Oh! Come join me. Oh, Jocelyn. Rolling the shoulders back and down. Length it's just all these spine. feelings of displacement, you know? Like, I've, yeah. I think I'm just having a very hard time adjusting to the overall aesthetic mm. of the town. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, okay. And it's just running through my head, and I've been Yeah, lots of talking. Sleep. Lots of emoting. That's yeah. good, David. Yeah. Um, have you tried sex? Excuse me? Sex puts me right to sleep. You should have lots and lots of sex. Oh. Now, with your partner's help, send your hips to the back of the barn. And partners, roll your biceps out and up, guiding the hips wide and back. Is everyone doing this? Mm-hmm. Um, how's your back? It's good. I mean, normally it's a little tight. Yeah, it is. I mean, I, I haven't noticed. I have noticed. I haven't... I, I haven't noticed noticed. <laughs> How are we doing here? Good. Super good. Um, this is a very challenging... Yoga class, Twyla. Thank you. Yes. Thanks. Yes. Yeah, so just hold Mutt's lower back here, just to support him. Okay. Good. Now feel the inner edge of the thigh. Let's bring it down. Oh no. Oh. Mutt should support his own thigh. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Yeah. Wow. I'm so sorry. You're quiet today. Where am I? It's just that you're not talking, and it's annoying because I'm bored. Don't we just think and work, or do we always have to talk? Okay, you're being super sketchy and emo right now. What is going on? Have you ever been in a relationship where you find yourself cheating? Yes. With someone in your dreams? Oh, what? Oh, um, you know that if it's in your dreams or over the clothes, it's not cheating, right? Yeah, well, it's been happening a lot lately, and then I look over and I see Twyla, and I feel bad. Also, Ted is throwing a party tonight. Maybe that's something exciting for you two to do together. That's probably not such a good idea. So, were you the only ones showing up to this party? <laughs> no, we're, we're still waiting for Mutt and Twyla. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should take the rolls out of the microwave. Hot rolls. <laughs> Alexis had just said that this was a, a party party. Ah, uh, well, you must have been misinformed then, David. Yeah, it's a dinner party. I, I wanted to get to know Alexis's friends a bit, so I figured we'd invite a few couples over, huh? have some dinner, play some games. <laughs> you guys showed! Oh, yeah, why wouldn't we show? Hi, La. Love your outfit. You look like a little Georgia peach. So, Hi. where is everybody? Thought this was a party. It is. It's an exclusive little party. So, Mutt, did uh, you two criminals do any good for the community today? We washed a car. You washed a car? Wow, the judicial system is really cracking down on its delinquents these days, huh? You know what I always wondered? What did you two talk about all day out there? Nothing. I mean, we talk about... We don't really talk about anything important. So, like, what? Like nothing. Okay. Um, like, Matt was having a bad day today, so we talked about that. You didn't tell me you're having a bad day. Ted, this is delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh. I didn't mean a bad day, Twy. I just meant, like, he was questioning things. Thank you, Stevie. Uh, I ordered it online from Nevada. No sales tax. What were you questioning? It's nothing. So when the lasagna gets delivered, <clears throat> does it come uh, frozen? OK, or... I just, uh, I don't know why you didn't feel comfortable talking to me about it. It's this not is... important. That's why I was talking to Alexis about it. OK, you know what I think is happening is things are just getting blown out of proportion. And honestly, if Alexis, you just tell us what you and Mutt were talking about, it'd probably help. Oh my God, Ted. We were washing a car and talking about bad dreams, okay? Okay. Sound a little defensive. Well, I'd agree. So this is weird. Um, today marks the longest relationship that I've ever voluntarily had with someone. Voluntarily? Yeah, the actual longest relationship was, um, 
three-month affair with a Saudi prince, but for the last two months of that, I was trapped in his palace trying to get to an embassy. Um, so, hey, how is it going with you and Twyla? You guys are looking cute. Uh, I don't know. Why, what's going on? I don't know, it, it's nothing, it's fine. Okay, if my boyfriend ever described our relationship as fine, I think I would literally... It's just, it feels like it's run its course. What? And I think we've both known it for a while now. Oh. Should be going any faster? Well, we should put that up quick. Um, so we're planning this surprise party for my mom. That's totally not gonna work. And I'm supposed to ask you if we can borrow your barn. But if you can't take the night off from betting women, I totally understand. Well, who says I can't do both? You have a bug in your hair. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Um, you look really amazing. Well, I didn't want to be the only one not wearing a suit. Um, did you have to kill a man to get it, or...? I did. <laughs> it took me a couple to find one in my size. But, um, you clean up well? Ah, uh, barely. I wore this thing to prom, like, a thousand years ago, but... Did bring me some luck that night, so I wore it here tonight. You were planning on getting lucky tonight. <laughs> so, um, where is Ted? <laughs> um, he is at a, um, like a, a conference or something tonight, so. Do you want to dance? Yes. I do. Alexis! Ted? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I had someone take my last seminar. I didn't want to miss this. Hey, man. Hey. Come on. Let's dance. Great suit, bud. Thanks. Killed somebody for it. Oh, you're leaving. What'd Ted say about that? Uh, he proposed. Really? So what'd you tell him? Told him I was leaving. But if you weren't, you would. <laughs> Is this a Barbara Walters special or something? I'm leaving. But that's it. You don't seem to be crying about it. I think it's nice you're going back to your natural habitat. I'm not a dolphin, but... You know what I meant. I'm happy for you. Oh, I'm glad you're happy about it. You know, you should really work on expanding your emotional range at some point. It's open. Hey. Um, I just came to say that we'll be leaving as soon as the sale's signed. So. You must be super excited. Yeah. Why did you do all that extra community service, Matt? Extra community service? Arnie said that your hours ended a long time ago. So. I like to stay active. Really? What do you want me to say? Well, could it maybe be because of the fact that you enjoy my company? Sure. Don't you even care that I'm leaving? Of course I care. Then what are you doing? Why are you yelling? Okay, I'm gonna ask you one more time. What? Why did you do that extra community service? You know why. Why can't you just say it? Hey, 
Um, I really shouldn't come in. Actually, you're standing in my living room. You let yourself in. Yeah, no, I know. Um, so, about the other night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That night, um, that was super fun. Actually, it was the most fun I had all year. That was super fun. Actually, I wouldn't mind having a little more fun right now. Okay. And I love hearing you say that. It's just that when we got together, um, I thought my family was leaving. Uh-huh. And now we're not. So... I would love to feel worse about your parents not selling the town, but... Mm, it's just, it's so tragic, because my mom is in this, like, waking coma, and my dad has developed more of a stutter, and... because we're not leaving, things are a little bit complicated with Ted. I thought things were done with Ted. Me too. But apparently he was misinformed. By who? By me. Okay. Until that whole thing kind of works itself out, I have a moral obligation to Ted. Your hands are so soft for someone who does nothing but manual labor. Thanks, I make sure to moisturize. Mm -hmm. That's so important, so important. Listen, I can wait. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, um... So you look really good today. Hey. What's up? Um, uh, well, good news. I um I finally went over to break up with Ted. Ooh, that is good. Mm. I'm starting to think you might never do it. Mm, I know. I know. Must have been hard. It was. It was really hard. How do you take it? Um, I don't know. You never know with these things. <laughs> so. Ooh. Alexis. What's up? You didn't break up with Ted, did you? Um. Well, like I said, I started to, and then I don't know if it was the timbre of his voice or the fact that he smelled like baby powder, but I just I physically couldn't do it. Okay. Yeah. You know, there must, it must happen to people, right? Like, there must be people out there who say yes to getting married because they can't say no, and then what happens? And then they're just stuck for the rest of their life with the same wrong, sweet person, right? Well, I'm pretty sure those people get divorced. Ah. Uh, Alexis, you need to be honest with them. Okay. What if I sent him? the sweetest little text message. Okay. Yeah. I'll do it in person. Obviously, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it in person. I will do this in person. David? David, what is this? It looks like a bike. Is it yours? Yes. Yes, it is. David, what is this doing here? You might want to read the note. Is it from Mutt? David? No! No! I feel like he really gets you. Like, I feel like he sees, like, deep into your soul. Like, I, I'm not quite sure what he's seeing exactly, but there's definitely, he's looking inward. What am I gonna do? About what? This is serious, David. This is so off base. <laughs> Imagine what kind of ring he'd buy, like an opal or something. Ooh, like a pear-shaped opal. <gasps> Hello, is anybody home? Hey, you have to support me in this. Mm-hmm. You have to. Do you promise yeah, me? Yeah, so. Hey, you. This is so special for me. Well, I thought you needed a new mode of transportation. I do. I do need a new mode of transportation. And like, a car would be nice, but do I need a car? Not anymore, it appears. Well, you said you missed spin class, so. I did. I did say that I missed spin class, and so you bought me a bike because I said that I missed spin class because you're so thoughtful and perceptive. So you like it? Mm, I'd say she loves it. Mm -hmm. Well, you're gonna need this. <gasps> 
A helmet! A helmet! Came with a bike. I think you should put it on. Like, I think you should actually, like, like put the helmet on. Yeah. And I will one day when we take this little pony for a joyride. I actually have her on my bike so we can test it out. Thought maybe we could take a little ride to the cafe. <laughs> so fun. See ya. The whole purpose of having a bike might be to actually ride the bike. Yeah, I'm just not wearing the right outfit. It's a five minute ride. Yeah, so by the time we get on and then we get off, it's almost not worth it. Do you not like the bike? No, I love it. It's just that um, there are so many drunk drivers around here. It's 10 a.m. Matt, you tell that to an alcoholic. Is it the color? Because, I mean, it's totally fixable. Okay, fine. I don't know how to ride a bike. What? I said I don't know how to ride a bike! <sighs> You're judging me. I'm not. It's just riding a bike is a pretty basic skill. Mm, is it though? I think that most kids learn how to ride a bike. Yeah, well, most kids also get head lice. Sorry if the opportunity never presented itself. Oh, what, there was no gap year in Belgium, no uh, Tour de France boyfriend? Yeah, but I never had to ride the bike. And David was such a little drama queen when my parents tried teaching him that they threw all the bikes into this big bonfire up in the Hamptons and we never talked about it again. Oh. Anyway, I have lots of skills that you don't have. I am sure that you do. Like, have you ever had to negotiate in Arabic? It is very difficult. I believe you. And try getting into Kiss Kiss in Tokyo without a lock of human hair. Now, you see, if you can do all that, I'm pretty sure that you can learn to ride a bike. <laughs> Alexis. Sorry. I was just thinking about this crazy night at Kiss Kiss. This is ridiculous. This is how you learn. Everyone is looking at me, man. No what? one is looking at you. Ugh. Is everything okay? People were saying that a, a girl was struggling with her bike. I kind of just assumed it was a toddler. No, I am a grown adult young woman. Okay, this is how my dad taught me, and this is how I'm teaching you. Ugh. I'm glad I knew how to ride a bike when we dated. Yeah, I don't really trust your dad in terms of, like, teachable moments. You know, one of my mom's boyfriends had a really great trick. Um, he used to say, one foot on the ground, one foot on the pedal, and get the hell out of here. Hey, that's fun. I like that. Let's try that. OK, fine. I'm just saying, if it's something you never did before. There you go. OK, wait. <laughs> Are you coming, or do I just keep, like, driving straight? I didn't teach her how to brake yet. Get the hell out of here, you dumb bro. That was another thing he used to say. I love how we could just be silent with each other. Yeah. I mean, I definitely feel like we used to talk more at the beginning, but um, it's good that we don't have to do that anymore because now we can just express how we feel through silence. <laughs> what? Nothing. What? You're talking about how nice it is not to talk, but you're still talking about it. I mean, yeah, I'm not a mute. <laughs> well, that is an understatement. Are we having some non-fight fight or something? Because all I'm saying is that it's nice not to talk, but apparently I'm not allowed to say that. No fight. No fight. All I am saying is that, you know, you need to talk about everything, and I don't. I don't need to talk about everything. I'm just saying that if I stop talking, then who knows when we're gonna start talking again. You know? Wake up, sleepyhead, that time's over. No money and an empty purse from two seasons ago. Alexis, it's me. Oh my god! Your face! Yes, you can see it now. You shaved. Are you are you crying? No. No. Um, when did you do this? Just now. It felt like a change. Okay, you didn't talk to me about it. About me shaving my beard? Yeah. Okay, what well, we have talked about, it's my face. 
you'd have said, uh, wow, Alexis, I'm thinking about shaving my beard. And then I would have said, mm, no, Matt, I don't think that that's the right journey for you at this point in time. Well, then I would have said, too bad, I shave like every six months. Okay, you should try growing a beard. I was a beard for a very well-known actor, and I get it, it's uncomfortable. But your beard is like my favorite thing about you. My beard is your favorite thing about me. I said one of my favorite no, things. No, no, no. You said favorite thing. I just woke up and you have a different face. So there's just a lot going on right now. Yeah, tell me about it. I just found out that my girlfriend's favorite thing about me is the hair that grows out of my face. I'm just saying that I think that that was a decision that we needed to make as a couple, okay? We need to communicate more. I really didn't think that this was a thing we needed to talk about. I thought we had a deeper thing going on. That's not what this is about. This is about me being left out of the loop. I do need to talk. And maybe if we had talked more, I could have prepared myself for this. <sighs> Look at your little doll lips. Did you lose weight? Shave my beard. Oh, I like it. You look younger. Thank you, Twyla. That means a lot. So, what can I get you guys? Um, what's the cake today? I'm sorry, did you just ask for cake? I'm, I'm not used to you ordering solid food. Yeah, I'll just have a slice of whatever. Guess I'm having cake. <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah. I don't know, I just feel like something's changed with us. Huh. What are you thinking? I don't know if anything's changed. I think maybe we know each other better now. Maybe that's the problem. No, no, I'm not saying that there's a problem. I'm just saying that there are definitely a few things between us that need to be adjusted in order to make this work for us. Like, maybe I need to talk less and listen more. And maybe you need to talk more and listen less. And are you willing to make these adjustments? Well, are you? Uh, I brought two forks, just in case you wanted to share. Never break and protect in your pride, but you can't really win if you've nothing to lose. Cause you're not wow, look at you. It's weird that I'm here. It's only weird if you think it's weird. Yeah, okay. I don't know if you don't. Um, in fact, I don't actually know how late I can stay. I just wanted to pop in and say hey. Well, you're awfully dolled up for a pop in. Oh my god, stop. I basically came from work. Babe, your stove's being testy again. Should I just serve the cider cold? Uh, Alexis, this is, uh, my girlfriend, Tennessee. <laughs> wow. Wow, wowie. <laughs> Alexis, hi. It's so nice to finally meet you. Matt's told me so much about you. Mm. The way he describes you, it's like you're this beautiful little poem. 
Well, love little. <laughs> Look at you. You're like a poem too, like a really pretty poem or like a mermaid or something. <laughs> Might you're growing back your beard. Yeah, she likes it. Okay. Um, hey, uh, I'm gonna go grab a drink. But um, it was so nice to finally meet you in Tallahassee, so. It's uh, Tennessee. Yes, Tennessee. I love that name. It's so unique. Um, thank God you look the way you do because that name on the wrong girl would just. <laughs> so, you should feel really good about yourself. She's cute. Thanks. So, you two call each other? Hey, um, about what? You dress the same. Ah, never heard that one before. How are you? Good, good. Uh, Tennessee and I are actually going on a trip for a while. So. Wow, like Tulum or? Uh, just gonna get in our car and drive up the coast. Let the road take us where it wants. No plans, no phones, no schedules. It's basically my worst nightmare. Sounds very adventurous. Yeah, well, I just needed to get away for a while, you know? So, uh, what's new with you guys? Well, Alexis came home to a naked man in her bathroom. Cool? Um, no, it wasn't cool because he wasn't actually there for me which made everything very awkward and uncomfortable for everyone. Well, you're free to use the bar mall on the way, you know, if you need some privacy. I was actually looking for someone to water the plants and check over the place, so. Oh, well, thank you, Mutt. That actually might be good for me. Well, we're leaving this afternoon, so, you know, swing by and grab the keys. It's very generous. Is that weird? Alexis, what's, what's up? Hey, it's you. Um, we just came by to pick up the keys for the barn. The keys to this barn? Yeah, um, Matt asked me to just pop by and keep an eye on the place while you were gone. Okay, this is just the first I'm hearing about it, which is fine. If I had known you were staying at our place, I would have cleaned the sheets for you guys. Oh, no, we're not together. You literally could not have said that any faster. Hey, babe, I'm just getting caught up here. So Alexis is crashing at our place. Not crashing. It's just, it just caught me off guard because I didn't know that there was an arrangement here. I don't know about arrangement. It just sort of happened. You're the one who said you don't like to plan things. Well, I like to plan things sometimes. Uh, so, Tennessee, Mutt tells us that you guys are heading up the coast? Yes. Yeah, we're meeting some friends. We're going on a pine cone harvest. Pine cone harvest? We're picking pine cones. I got this old compass at a flea market. We're just gonna drive until we see the pine trees. Mm. That sounds like it is gonna be super fun and intense. Uh, Mutt, you didn't tell me about... Yeah, the pine cones. It's so we know roughly where we're going. Pretty sure the compass is broken, though. Well, I think that it's better to just free fall into it. Yes. Yeah, but like I said, wouldn't hurt to bring a map. Anyway, you pick the pine cones and they harvest the seeds. Um, sounds like this is going to be like a very um, cathartic journey for you guys. Here's hoping. <laughs> yeah. So uh, here's the keys, and uh, take care of the place. Don't throw any parties. Pinky swear. We should probably get going. We were going to hit the hot springs before the sun sets. Oh yeah, definitely want to get a soak in before you tackle the cones, which you must really be pining for by now. Okay. Okay, well, safe travels. Yeah, that was weird. I will not be watering those plants. Welcome to the first official volunteer meeting. I, of course, am your co-chair, Alexis Rose. Um, I think this is gonna be a very fun week. <laughs> but as of right now, it's less than ideal. Um, I don't wanna add to anyone's stress, but we just lost the curling club. Bottom line, uh, we need a new venue. So if everyone can just like ask around, please. I might have a place. Oh my God. Okay, um, everyone take a hot five. And oh, for those of you asking about the t-shirts, yes, they are supposed to be tight. This is singles week. Everyone is fair game, okay? 
Hi. Hi. What are you doing back? Oh, well, I, uh, I don't know if you heard, but I'm gonna have a little brother soon, so yeah, I couldn't miss that. Oh, yes, congratulations. And are you serious about having a venue for me? Because that would be amazing. Happy to at the barn. If you can be cleaned up in time. What happened? Oh, I asked a friend of mine to keep an eye on it while I was away and must have slipped her mind. It didn't slip my mind, I just, like, didn't go. Is it bad? We had a nice little home for a family of raccoons. Yeah, I had to evict them, though, and they didn't go quietly. Okay. You are literally saving my life right now. I feel like I should help you clean or, like, water the plants or something. I won't turn down the help, but you don't have to worry about the plants. They are very, very dead. Matt, you're making me feel partially responsible. Okay, this is definitely smaller than the curling rink. Oh, it sounds like you've been really busy putting this thing together. Yeah. What's happened since you and Tallahassee left on your pinecone journey? It's, uh, Tennessee. But I'm pretty sure you know that, and that ended a while ago. Oh, no. I totally thought she was, like, the one for you. We called it off the day we arrived. She's married to Moonshine now, the owner of the cone farm. I'm sorry to hear that. That trip was a disaster. The compass broke halfway there. We ended up falling a star for two days. <laughs> anyway, by the time we got there, we sat down and we, uh, we spoke our truths. Pretty freeing. That day I picked 700 cones. Hmm. Is that like a lot of cones? Well, Moonshine and his daughter Petal said it was the biggest one day haul they've ever seen. They gave me the cone of achievement, which allowed me to take two showers that week. Speaking of showers. Ugh, no. This can't happen. I have like 50 zillion things to do today. Oof, only helping me clean is one of them. Ugh. And crack open a bottle of cone wine. Feeling risky. Fine. Um, no. Uh, fine. No. Okay, but, um, like, just one. I see it's actually raining harder. So just take the day off, like old times sake. Um, I am a college graduate, Matt. Singles Week is not community service. It's actually very important to me. And I respect that. So will you be participating in Singles Week? Ugh. Now I'm trying to like, learn from my mistakes before making any new ones. I think it's funny. You bringing people together and here we are, still single. Mm. Makes you wonder if it's us. <laughs> what is happening? I don't know. I just thought we were here, it's raining, felt like nothing had changed. Yeah, I could see how you would make that leap, but things have changed for me. That's cool. We did have some fun in here, though. Yeah, we did. You were quite the heartbreaker. Yeah. Not, like, super proud of that? Um, so when you and Tallahassee had your talk, you said it was, it was freeing. Saying something you've kept hidden out loud? Yeah, it was pretty freeing. Though in our case, it was mostly swears and we didn't talk for a week, but it was worth it in the end. Who knows where I'd be right now if I just didn't tell her how I felt. I think I need to leave. It's still raining. Yeah, no, I know. There's, um, there's like something I need to do. But thank you for the talk and for finishing up cleaning, because I'm obviously not going to help with that. You're a good one, Matt. Okay, bye. <laughs>